Mm. We're now on to the world of sport. Ian McBride, as ever, knows what's going on. Well, I hope so. Thanks, Jeff. A very good evening. Hastings and Folkestone returned to do battle once more in a replayed FA Cup tie last night. Hastings had two worries. How would they cope without their manager, Dean White, who's joined Brighton? And how would they cope with the Folkestone goalkeeper, Dave Vitecker, who was outstanding in the original 1-1 draw between the sides on Saturday? Charles Lambert reports. David Vitecker was again outstanding, using his feet to block Duncan MacArthur's deflected shot. But when Folkestone left back, Danny White pushed MacArthur inside the penalty box. Even V. Tecker was powerless against Terry White's spot kick. White helped pick the team for tonight following the departure of Hastings manager Dean White, so he deserved to get on the score sheet. But in the second half, the big midfielder was guilty of wasting Hastings' best chance to increase their lead. He made amends, however, by setting up Danny Simmons, who headed in goal number two. Now it was the time for Hastings goalkeeper Tony Kessel to show what he could do, diving at the feet of James Dryden to prevent a certain goal. 2-0 to Hastings, Horsham in the next round and a fitting end to the Dean White era. He just come in after just to wish us well and we'll have a drink with him after just to wish him well as well. As for Terry White, he's happy to hand responsibility over to Hastings' new boss. A nice start to the George Wakeling era. Yeah, very not, very nice please for him so and he can take over from now hastings two folkestone nil charles lambert in hastings for meridian tonight and the next round the weekend after next cricket now in essex